Why is that girl taking a picture of the Goodwill? She's crazy. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am at Goodwill about 10 minutes or so before they open. This was just a spur of the moment. I dropped my son off at school and I thought, I'm gonna drive to Bloomington, which is about 30 minutes away where I live. They have the better thrift stores than what they do in my little town. I'm just gonna go and, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go thrifting today. Do you ever get that kind of wild hair and you just decide that you're just gonna go when you weren't planning on going, but you just are here? Maybe that's a sign. Maybe that's a sign that I'm gonna find some good stuff. You never know. Um, but I am here and I am the only one in the parking lot. So that's good. No, no, there's one other car. Competition. Anyway, 10 minutes before they open and I'm hoping to find some good stuff. And we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if this little impromptu visit of mine is going to be productive. I am being very picky with what I am looking for. But you know, when you go thrifting, it's always just kind of the treasure hunt anyway. You aren't necessarily looking for anything in particular, at least I'm not. I mean, I'm, I look for things to resell, obviously. I look for things that I can use in my home. I look for things that I can give to people that they enjoy, that I can find at a good price. It's just treasures. It's just a treasure hunt. So I'm going to film while I'm thrifting. We will see if I can talk while I'm in there. I am hoping to not have to do music overlay, but the Goodwills insist on cranking out the music. So that might be a little difficult, but I'm gonna do my best. So I'm gonna sit here and wait in my car for 10 minutes before they open. Fingers crossed it's going to be a good trip. Here I am still sitting here. And there's a lady in the car next to me that I know is looking at me like I'm nuts. Why is that girl taking a picture of the Goodwill? She's crazy. But here I am. Hey, there are other cars pulling in the parking lot. So I've got competition. There's a lady eating her breakfast in her car, which is a smart idea, as a matter of fact, because I'm awfully hungry, and I didn't have anything to eat this morning. I didn't plan on coming here today. So, that was a good idea, lady. Bringing your breakfast along. You'd think I would have learned that by now, but again, I didn't think I was coming today. I just had the, the urge to come. So, four more minutes left. She's a smart lady eating her breakfast. Hey, this one man's in front of me, but we're the only ones here. Nobody else here. Good stuff, hopefully. Okay, right off the bat, I see this really pretty green vase. Goodwill wants $9.99 on it, which I'm not paying that, but what's the color of it? Um, black tags are half price. I like this owl, but it's not vintage. So we're looking for black tags, but I am looking for some green items for home. This is a pretty crackle vase for 99 cents. So I do like that. I might grab that. Looking for green things. And this is the only green thing I see so far. Let's go down here. So far, the music's not too bad. Okay, I'm not seeing anything orange. It's empty box, this is kind of pretty. I gotta peel the label off. Oh, Goodwill, why do you do this? Portugal. It's pretty though. I do like that. Hmm. I go down my favorite aisle, which is the tchotchkes. Oh boy, someone has uh, d uh, donated their whole entire good angel collection. Is this Yadro? I don't think so. 
to look like a Viadro, but it is not. And the music is extremely loud, so I'm going to have to talk a lot and hopefully drown it out. See, I that's made in uh, China. That's not good. There's some little butterfly gold coffee mug that does not sell for me. Oh, hello. All right, so let's see what else we can find. There's a top of a brass uh, pineapple. All right, some turtles. What in the world? I guess you hang it on your, your wall? I don't know. I'm hearing a cart come out, so that's always music to my ears. All right, some trays, Portugal. It's kind of pretty. All right, let's go look at the tray. I'm gonna take a break from looking at this stuff and we'll look at the tray and see what's on the tray. is extremely loud and I found this Franciscan tile and they sell for about 18 to 20 dollars on eBay but this one has a chip so I'm gonna put it back I'm not gonna buy it if it's damaged so not finding much lately this one small bag in my rally roots bag I only spent $14 wasn't a successful trip but I'm gonna hit one more Goodwill and we'll see if we can find anything better well, that was a waste of time. I might as well go to the other Goodwill that's here because I'm, you know, I'm here. It's kind of on the other side of town. Um, but, I mean, I'm going to check it out. I'm not going to go to Salvation Army because they have way raised their prices. And I'm not going to... I'm, I'm not going to partake in that. So, I'm going to go to the other Goodwill and then hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be better. And hopefully, I'll have time to stop at... The one in, in my little town, too, before I have to go to the grocery store. But, fingers crossed that we'll be able to find something decent. Because it was slim pickings. And I was, like, the second person in the door. And there wasn't anything. I mean, I got a few things. And I will do a haul at the end of this video. And I couldn't record a lot in there because the music was so loud. And I am no longer selling clothing or I'm not sourcing clothing. And the speakers in this Goodwill... It seems like in all the Goodwills are right down underneath the hard goods section. So it's hard to film in there. So unfortunately, probably you got some, I had to do a music overlay, which I don't like to do, but sometimes it has to be done. Anyway, 
onward and upward to the next Goodwill. And hopefully the Goodwill gods will be good to me at this one. Hopefully. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Is it too early to get Fazoli's breadsticks? It probably is. They probably aren't serving breadsticks. I should have ate breakfast before I left. I'm at Goodwill number two. And I have a belly full of breakfast. So... I won't have to be whining over being hungry and we'll see there's not a lot of people here so that's good so let's hope that we can find something in here today we'll see going straight back to the goodies hopefully hopefully this was someone's gift forever and they're just sticks in a frame okay night not quite understanding that but that's art i could do okay, the music is still very very loud but i'm not sure how much i'm going to be able to actually talk to you while i'm in here looking but we'll see Okay, this is frightening. I mean, I like a creepy Santa, but that's, that's a little, that's a little disturbing. Look at the little pricks he's on his shoulder. Do I want this because it's so disturbing? It's 99 cents. It's not old, but it's Norman Rockwell. But that's, that's a little disturbing. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna get that. That's too creepy even for me. wasn't a projective trip. Well, maybe. I mean, I might have some things that might be something. I found them right when I was checking out. They were in the grab bags, which I like to get. So let me go ahead and show you what I got. Altogether, I spent $30 today and I, the gas to get there. But I still had a, some fun by myself. I got two bags of these little charms. Now I have to look at these, but they might be Nora Fleming. And Nora Fleming has a whole line of serving pieces that you can interchange these little decorative, they kind of look like wine bottle stoppers, but that's not what they are. But some of them were, I mean, they're going for like $20 a piece on eBay. And some of them that are retired are going for an even crazier amount of money. I'm trying to look and see if there's any markings on these. I don't know if, no, this is Nora Fleming. If there's an NF on the tree, you can see, kind of make it out, NF Nora Fleming. So I don't know how much this one will go for, but they were going, they were selling for about $20 a piece. So I got the Christmas tree. This is Nora Fleming too. It's got the NF on the butterfly, um, birthday cake or birthday hat. I'll, I'll try to insert a picture somewhere of, of what these are. They're really cute. My, I got them because my mother-in-law has some of these and I thought she might like some, but mamma, I, we call her mammal, but that's my, my kids call her mammal. If these are like $20, $30 a piece, 
I mean, I'll give you one if you want one. <laughs> but anyway, I think these are all Nora Fleming because they have an NF. I don't know if you can tell, but like right here is an N and an F. So this one's like a little acorn. And the snowman. So I'm going to have to look and see which ones are retired. And the flag. And then this, this one's probably the one that's worth the most money and it's broken. That would be my luck. It's, but I'm going to try to glue it. And I'll obviously list in the listing that it had been repaired, but it's a birthday cake with a little candle. So there's that bag. And then there's a whole other bag. Again, I'm going to have to, you know, look these up and see if I've got any good ones, but also Nora Fleming, the NF on there, a umbrella, a cross, a pineapple. I'm excited about these. Actually, there's another cross, another cross. Hopefully these crosses are the ones that are worth hundreds of dollars. Wouldn't that be cool? Because I have four of them. They're probably, they're probably worth the least amount of money. And a, oh, this one's cute, a pumpkin. And a shamrock. So I'm excited to look these up to see if I have any winners in that lot. And they were, as I was checking out, I was waiting in line. So I was just kind of going through some of the things that were, you know, up in the little grab bag area. So this was, you might have seen this in the video. I, got, I am a sucker for these dumb turvis cups. I use these all the time. I have way too many of them. I do not need any more of these. It was 99 cents. But if anything, I need the lids because I, I don't have very many lids. So I, if anything, I paid 99 cents for the lid. I mean, it is IU. My husband went to Purdue, so I don't know if he'll let me keep this in the house. But it does say Bloomington. So that's kind of a local thing. So that's kind of neat. And finding Turvis for 99 cents, you just can't not buy it, right? You have to buy it. It's cheap. Those are expensive to buy new. And then I did get this little crackle vase for 99 cents. Oop. Oh, did I show you that I paid $2.99 for those grab bags? This is what I was saying when I buy Hallmark ornaments. I'll buy them in grab bag lots. And, you know, for $2.99, and I'll end up selling them for, you know, $10 to $15 a piece. So it's it's worth it. You know, it's they're not easy. I mean, it's easy to take a picture of and easy to ship. So I'm trying to see if this crackle vase, I don't think that it has now. You can tell there's no other sticker underneath that. But I'm going to use this for, um, I don't really decorate for St. Patrick's Day, but I put some green things out on a, on a shelf here at home. So I will use that for that. And then I got this, this platter. I am wanting to do, well, I'm, I'm collecting the white ironstone. And so I'm finding the platters that kind of have this little scalloped edge to it. This one is Staffordshire. It's England. No. Yeah. England ironstone. Kind of make it out a little bit. And it was $1.99. So I thought that was a good deal. It's very pretty. And I mean, I use these for display, like in the background of a display. But I mean, I also use them for plotters. So got that. All right. Then I went to the other Goodwill that was just across town. And I picked up this. And I have it. I just did a quick search of the brands and I didn't like look it up, you know, intensively, but this is, it's wood art by the Lei family from Hawaii. I'll show you what it is. It's just this little wooden angel. She's beautiful. She's beautifully carved and her face is painted really pretty. It does, ha it's new with the tags and it has the, the tag there. And I paid $1.99 for it. Now, I had seen not necessarily this one because, I, like I said, I didn't, like, type in angel. I just typed in Le, Fle, Le no, L-E family or Le family. I don't know if it's which way it's pronounced. But it's Aloha Wood Art. So it is, it's made by Paul Lee. 
Paul Lee. So I don't know, for $1.99, I thought it was super cute and someone may like it. It's, I mean, it doesn't have to necessarily be Christmas, but this is also something that's easy to list, easy to ship, so it was worth $1.99. And I got, I got myself a shirt. I don't think you guys really care about the shirts, but I buy all of my clothing from Goodwill. I don't buy retail anything. Um, I got these birds and I haven't even looked at these through the loop, but they were 99 cents and I love little figurines and I like birds. This one was 99 cents and if there's no, well, okay, I take that back. There is one little chip on the bottom tail of the one of the birds, but when I take the tag off, I'm trying to see, maybe if I hold it up to the camera, it will make it a little bit easier for me to see, and it doesn't. So look at that. If you can make that out, I will look at it underneath the loop. Um, so it will magnify it for me. Or I'll take another trick that you can do if you don't have a loop. Take a picture with your cell phone and then zoom it in and it will make it bigger for you. I've done that lots of times. But this is super cute. And it's old. I just don't know who made it. Goodwill, you know, put a marker over it. So that was nice of them. But I want to say... I don't know. I'm not even going to try until I look it up. Because my old lady eyes cannot make it out. So I thought that was really cute. And I got this. I like this stuff. I I have a strange thing for turvis glasses or cups and also spoon rests. My husband gets mad at me all the time because he says we don't need another spoon rest. But I love spoon rests. I don't know why. I just do. I think they're cute. I actually got this one for a friend of mine. And I'm going to be sending it to her but it's this chicken spoon rest. It's a double spoon rest, so you can put two spoons on here. Actually, well, I guess you can, it's got three indentations, so you can put, I don't know, whatever you want to on it, I guess. But it is kind of yellowed and it's got some crazing on it. It's old, it's probably from maybe the 30s, 40s. There isn't, well, I don't think that there's any sticker on it. No, but it was 99 cents. So it's so cute. There's no chips on it anywhere. So I'm going to send this to a friend of mine who likes roosters and chickens. And this was the shirt. It's just an old navy. I'll just show it to you. I know that you guys are all enthralled and you really care about me buying an old navy shirt at Goodwill. But here it is. It's just a flowy shirt for me. Okay. Okay. And it's like, what is this thing? This is, I'm, you know, like I'm hoarding these little white pictures to make a display in one of my pieces of furniture. I'm looking to see, well, this was 99 cents as well. And I'm looking to see if there's any, no, there's no mark on it. It, it may not be old. It may be a modern piece, but I like different shapes and different sizes to make in. I have a piece of furniture that I'm wanting to put all this white stuff in. So when I see it for 99 cents, I buy it. Put my birds over here so I don't lose them. Okay, so that was all I got at that Goodwill. And then I went home to my little home Goodwill and there wasn't much in there either. So I got a few things in there. This I paid 99 cents for and I'm gonna use this on a tiered tray that I actually have at the shop. But I'm gonna bring it home and I'm going to get it set up here and I'll post it on Instagram or something. But this is cute for Valentine's Day. Home is wherever I'm with you. It's probably like a Primitives by Kathy. No, there's I, there's no maker's mark on it. But for 99 cents, it will look cute on a tiered tray. So I got that. Also, I got this little strainer for $1.99. It's metal, it's not old, it's modern, but I thought for Valentine's Day it would be cute. And I could also use it at Christmas time too, and the 4th of July. So I could put some cookie cutters or something in that and use it as a display here at home. It's kind of a metal enamel, but it's not old, it's new. I mean, you can tell by the screws in there, it is not an old piece. 
And that is, oh my God, a pair of black leggings, but nobody cares about that. So that's all I got at the Goodwills. And then I did go in to a little thrift store here in town, the little St. Vincent thrift store that isn't my favorite place in the world to go. But I did find this little girl in there and I haven't looked her up. I paid $4 for her, but she's darling. She's so cute. She's a little girl, little sunflower or chrysanthemum, or I don't know what kind of flower that is. But she is Napco, and she's from 1958. She was $4, but I just think that she's cute. I don't know if I'm going to keep her or if I'm going to sell her, but she would be really, really cute with Easter things or spring things or summer. But she doesn't have any damage on her, so I did make sure of that before I bought it. Because um, sometimes the petals will have a chip or, you know, around her arms will have a chip, but she's good. She doesn't have any flaws on her. So that is it. And that's all I got today. I know. It wasn't that productive. Let me wrangle my cat. It wasn't that productive of a trip. There's Mr. Fluffer. Say hi. Say hi. So I don't know. Uh, you know, sometimes you just, you know, you, you don't, you're not going to find something every single time you go. And you shouldn't buy something just for the sake of buying something either. Really about everything except for the little charms or things that I'm keeping. So that's okay. And it's okay to buy stuff for yourself sometimes. I'm really excited to figure out if I have any home runs with the North Lamaine charms. So I will keep you posted on that. Uh, make sure that you follow me on Instagram. And if you're not subscribed, make sure that you are subscribed. I do thrifting videos. Um, I also have a sale every Friday of some vintage things that I have. I'm trying to clear out my antique store. Um, so I do a sale, a live sale every Friday. And I will ship things to you if you see things that you like. And I also do home decor with vintage and thrifted pieces. So I hope that you subscribe and I hope that you like this video. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye.